Hey everyone, James with TFB TV. Today on TFB TV, we have a lost chapter of GunFest. You all remember GunFest. It was an event that we did online only. It was meant as like a replacement for SHOT Show, more or less, because we didn't have SHOT Show this year. Nobody got to announce their new products for 2021. So we hosted a bunch of people in New Orleans. They came down, we talked about their new products. Then I went and flew to a bunch of other manufacturers the following week. We ran videos from the middle of January until February 1st. There are two lost chapters. And those are guns that manufacturers brought down and they're like, look, we can't really talk about this right now and you can't really release it before February 1st. But let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's make a video about it. We'll kick it around and maybe you guys can release the videos later. Daniel Defense brought down the Delta 5 Pro chassis, precision bolt action rifle. But Daniel Defense is known for what? ARs. So of course, they brought down a new top secret AR and I go over it with my buddy Matt on TFB TV today. Check it out. Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. Thanks for tuning in to GunFest 2021. We're bringing you new products for 2021 from your favorite manufacturers, including Daniel Defense. I got my good buddy Matt Hurt here with Daniel Defense. Matt's gonna talk to us about this big little sexy thing here. Yeah. What do we have? It's a hammer, man. We, um, it, it probably looks familiar to a lot of people uh, looking at it. It's our DD5 except we shortened everything down it's a dd5 sbr now it's a 12 and a half inch barrel um, the linear comp on the front is going to be a blast baffle obviously you don't want to go shooting this 12 and a half inch without some form of blast baffle or suppressor so um, we put the linear comp on here you'll you'll recognize it it's the same one that's on our our 300 blackout pdw that's been so successful this year so we integrated this um, onto the weapon um, moving for a little bit further back, it does have a mid-length gas system. Um, it has two settings, um, suppressed and unsuppressed. Keep it simple, right? Sure. So um, for guys who, who do want to protect the hearing a little bit and drop a suppressor on there, uh, you can flip that thing to suppressed and uh, it, it just cuts down the gas, cuts down the blowback. Uh, lightens up the um, uh, the felt recoil. So. And for those of us who might not be familiar with the DD5, this is a 308. That's, That's like exactly why right. we're talking about yes. all this. So yeah. it's like you know, just to uh, yeah. you know, maybe illuminate that for some of the viewers out there who yeah. might not know. It's like oh, 12 and a half. What do you need like a, a comp on there? You know, it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because the, uh, this SOB is a 308. It is a thumper, and it it is um, like many uh, big bore AR platforms. It is a proprietary design. So you wouldn't be able to take a third party upper or a lower and integrate this into our system. Um, so just to answer a lot of consumer questions out there, uh, the configuration will only uh, work as a Daniel Defense configuration complete. Let's keep working on the way back here. So of course, it, yep. you can't ignore when you look here and you see you know this mounting pattern for yep. the handguard. Explain that to everybody who might not be familiar with how yeah, you Yeah, so do that. one of the unique things about the DD5 and one that has made it uh, both a very accurate semi-auto gun uh, and a very, um, very rigid gun is we don't use a barrel nut on the system. It is a, um, is a barrel extension with a proprietary flange that's built on the back of it. And you'll see uh, that flange sandwiched between the rail and the receiver. Uh, what that did for us and our engineers, uh, it gave us about 25% more surface uh, bolt up uh, uh, to the receiver. Um, when you do that, you make a much more rigid gun. You also make a very, very easy to service gun if you ever had to change a barrel out. So you're literally just breaking loose four, uh, four nuts from the handguard, pulling the barrel out, dropping a new barrel in, and tighten those nuts down. That is not to say it's a quick change barrel. We want to keep those nuts tightened down. You will notice if, if those things loosen up, you'll see some movement in, in your accuracy. But, but it does give the user a flexibility to, to swap out a barrel. If I could do that at home. You can do it at home. That's right. Yeah, any tool you buy it, at Home Depot, you can, you can take that barrel off. So, um, and, and really, the accuracy is really what comes from, from that, that bolt-up system. Mm -hmm. um, behind, you'll see um, our standard big bore DD5 uh, receiver. Um, the bolt carrier group is a unique bolt carrier group. It is a DLC coated, uh, diamond-like coating um, yeah. surface. 
Um, we do a fine polish before we surface coat that. So it's in a long-term uh, tumbling method. So we really make a smooth polish on that and then we coat it on top with the DLC coating. Really bottom line to that is if you're gonna run this suppress, everybody that does knows how dirty things get. That bolt can slide out of there. It, carbon doesn't adhere to it as, 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 uh, as tightly as other bolt carrier groups. It is so easy to clean up. It's so uh, shiny, Matt. It's so shiny. It's, <laughs> it's nice sparkly. It is. It's kind of cool. It's like a black diamond. Yeah, you yeah. Know? It's like a really neat looking. Well, I would love to be able to offer that bolt carrier group all the way down to our 5F6 line mm -hmm. at some point in the future. But right now, it's just on the DD5 platform. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's, it's phenomenal. If you've run this on the range all day, uh, when you get back to your hotel, you don't want to spend hours cleaning that bolt. You literally take it out, wipe it down with a rag. Can I just get any AR-10 bolt carrier group and drop it in here? Good to go. No. Um, another, another factor what makes our gun proprietary is it is a, in our words, in our engineering department, it's an oversized bolt carrier group. Um, we have a patent pending um, tungsten buffer that's built into the backside of this bolt carrier group. And that tungsten buffer rotates or move, moves as the gun cycles. And all it does is just slow down the cyclic rate in that bolt to make a more reliable system internally. So when you're running uh, as much gas as you're putting down here, like a 308 does, you really need every, every advantage you can get in making sure the timing and the release of, of that bolt. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Especially, you know, something like this with yep. a, a barrel at this length. Yep. The magazines, uh, they are compatible. That's the uh, SRLR uh, Magpul Mag is what it ships with, but uh, any double stack uh, SR LR magazine will work in that gun. Okay. So, ambidextrous features on that gun, both in uh, safety selector and mag release and bolt release. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Nice. And then, of course, you guys have your Daniel Defense, like the typical furniture that we're used yep. to. Typical furniture, uh, rubber over mold. It does have uh, our standard 1911 angle. So guys are moving more towards a little bit steeper angle for. Uh, 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 really f for ease of maneuverability, uh, but that can be changed. It, it will fit any AR-15 uh, uh, pistol grip without a um, trigger guard. So, okay. Yep. And same thing with the stock. Same right? thing with the stock, man. We use a, we use a standard uh, carbine spring and system in that. Um, really, this is the DD-5 in a shorter configuration. So it's going to retail at $24.99. So uh, it will be set up and ready to go. A, a side note, we will only make this as a, uh, a SBR. Mm -hmm. So we, we won't have this as a pistol configuration. So. And you can still get it if you're watching this. Obviously, you need to do a little bit of paperwork, but you can still buy a factory SBR. Yes. It's going to take a little bit longer, mm -hmm. um, going to take a little bit more paperwork, but even if it's legal in your state, you can buy this still. So, I mean, I would say if you really want something like this, you shouldn't be deterred by the fact that it's going to be offered as a factory SBR. If anything, yeah. I kind of like it that way mm -hmm. because it's something that hasn't been butchered. Right. Uh, you, you're not working with like a brace, you know, yep. whatever. This is, uh, it, it comes out of the factory yeah. the way you guys want it to be and you guys want it to run. So I happen to like that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you already have a 16 inch or an 18 inch variant of the DD5, if you want to form one that lower, you can um, you can convert it to to the upper, a uh, 12 and a half inch upper. I don't know when just the upper is going to be released, but that that is that is possibility. It will it will made up fine. The tough question: Why would I want to do a 12 and a half inch barrel mm -hmm. 308? Like you said, this yeah. thing is a hammer. Yeah. I mean, I, I would think that that would be relatively inefficient. Why yeah. why would I want to do this? Why yeah. did you guys do this? So uh, we have built and, and done some, uh, some special bids for guys that are running in and out of a vehicle with a big bore gun. Uh, a lot of law enforcement agencies have, have requested this. Um, so it's really that feedback and that design has really come from more of a government and law enforcement sector than it has been from a commercial sector. Another factor is that, man, you just got a lot of shooters that maybe they're hog hunting at night, uh, maybe they're in and out of a, an ATV, um, something that they can maneuver easily and still get, with this gun, you're gonna get 500, uh, 500 yards out of it. Yeah, I sure. mean, ballistically, that 308 still has a lot of pop coming out of that 12 inch barrel. So um, there's, a, there's a million different reasons that it, that it makes a lot of sense to, to offer this to consumers. 
And there's also a million different AR-15 manufacturers, but Daniel Defense, you guys continue to set yourselves apart with designs like this, with uh, constantly innovating, yeah. doing your own thing. And a lot of people here proprietary, like it's a yeah. bad word, but again, you guys are doing this, uh, your proprietary designs are in exchange for performance. Yep, so um, we do have on our website, danieldefense.com, we have a critical parts kit uh, package that a consumer can go and buy. And it really is it all the parts that would either potentially fail on you that we've seen regularly, um, or, or you might drop and lose. So springs, um, bolts, um, firing pins, all of those parts you can buy as a kit right now. I, I don't think we have a designation for this gun yet. It's gonna be the DD5 SBR from, from my understanding that may change in the future. So uh, it will be the only 12 and a half inch 308, that's for sure. You guys always uh, roll something out every year that you know? people get pumped up about. We hope so. Yeah. yeah, oh, absolutely, for sure. So I want to say thanks a ton for coming on yes. uh, for Gunfest. Yes. I appreciate it, Matt. As usual, guys, stay tuned for more TFB TV Gunfest. We'll be bringing you more.